Hi all my YouTube lovers. I'm back again with another haul video. I haven't done one in a while. And I just got my items from bornprettystore.com in today and I wanted to share them with you guys. So just to throw myself in there and get started, I'm going to start off with, um, obviously this is a beauty blender. Um, I kind of always wanted to get one and try them and see how well it works when it comes to blending out my makeup and um, usually see them in the stores and they're like crazy expensive so I hold off on buying one and they were having a sale on bornprettystore.com and this was really really affordable so I took advantage and I bought one. So I'm going to try that. Um, here I just bought um, striping tape. Um, I've been trying out some new nail designs that I have seen all over the... If I could find a good angle, it would be awesome. Um, trying designs that I've seen kind of like all over Instagram and stuff like that. So I wanted to get a good practice on that. And so that way I could do like a nice detailed tutorial on... Um, yeah, so I just want, I bought the striping tape just to use as a guide for like really cool nail polish designs. So we'll see how that plays out. And I bought a new stamper and also a uh, scraper for your Conan or whatever kind of um, stamping nail art designs. Um, the one that I have now is just... Um, so it was just time for a new one, so I bought a new one. And then the old stamper that I really have, it's the double-ended one. Um, except for my nails, even the bigger side was still a little too small for me. And then this this just gives me a little bit more of a better surface space. So, and again, it was on sale, so I took advantage and bought another one. Um, <clears throat> so... I also bought some six scented um, cuticle um, oil. I'm sorry. Um, it was a really affordable deal. All of six were, I think, $5.99 for all of them. Not $5.99 each, but for all six was $5.99. So um, I figured that was actually really a pretty good deal. So I got some of them. And it's cute if you want to, you know, have some in your purse if you're a really you know you take good care of your cuticles and you put in cuticles on every couple of hours or whatever the case is um but it's really cute and they actually smell so nice i was so surprised on how nicely scented they were like you can really tell what it is um my favorite so far is actually the peach it really smells like peach and it's really, really good. And the lemon. Those two are my favorites so far. The peach and the lemon. So it's a pretty good deal on these. And I also bought these um, tip guides. Um, again, it's because I've seen... I don't know if you can actually really appreciate that all of them are zigzags. But anyway, this is what they all look like. So I've... Um, been seeing a lot of really cool neat nail polish designs using these tip guides so I figured I wanted to get a nice good practice on them and then do like a really cute um, tutorial using these so I can't wait to get started on that um, I'll take this one um, yeah um, obviously it's nothing special about it this is just a cuticle nipper for some reason I'm always losing the two that I have and I don't know if it's because of the spot that I had it in I had it in my in my home and then I moved it to another home so hopefully hopefully I won't end up losing that one um and this is a um I guess this way is better um a fish shape 3D mold. I thought it would be really, really cute to get this one, kind of do like maybe an under the sea nail or aquarium nail or something like that. And I thought it would be really cute to have kind of another under the sea theme nail design. So I thought those were really cute. 
So I got it. And I also just bought, um, and just nothing special. It's just an empty, um, nail polish thing. <laughs> um, yeah, I saw this trick somewhere and where I will do a video on it just to show you, but you could kind of make your own, um, skin protector, uh, or if you want to call it a skin protector, or like maybe a polish be gone and you put it like around your cuticle area and, and like maybe underneath your skin. So if you're doing water marble, you could, or if you're doing stamping, you can just peel off that glue and off goes the uh, nail polish. So <clears throat> I got the em empty container so I have something to put it in. And kind of off the topic of nails, but it was on sale and um, I figured I'll try it. It's a hair guide, so if you want to cut your own hair, um, since I usually do my own hair, makeup and nails and all that, um, I figured I would get this because the only thing I couldn't do was cut my own hair because obviously I can't really see the back of my hair and if I try it would just be a big old mess. So I saw it. It was on sale. Um, I first seen something like this on an infomercial. Um, but I didn't get it because it was like, it was a little expensive. But, um, my flash turned off on me. That was nice. But, um, yes. So this is, um, my stuff. I can't wait to kind of get my hands in them and start playing with them. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you like. Please come back for some more videos and tutorials that I will be putting up hopefully, hopefully, hopefully soon. And then I'm also thinking about maybe getting into sh makeup tutorials or some hair tutorials. We'll see how, how that goes. But anyway, thank you so much, so much for stopping by and taking the time of watching my videos. Thanks. Bye.